I'm really, really proud of what he turned out. It's a work of art. I got, I got like a question though, Bradley. Huh. Where did all the money come from? I have my ways. American Restoration, also known as Kings of Restoration in Europe and the UK, is a popular reality TV series which aired on History Channel for seven seasons from 2010 through to 2016. The show mainly focused on the staff of the antique shop, Rick's Restorations, with the main star being the shop's owner and founder, Rick Dale. American Restoration is the first spin-off from Pawn Stars, in which Rick had previously appeared numerous times as an expert in restoring various possibly valuable items. American Restoration cast included Rick, his wife Kelly, their sons Brett Lee and Tyler, Rick's brother Ron, and other employees at their shop. It also features cameo appearances from the cast of its parent series Pawn Stars and other History Channel shows such as Counting Cars and American Pickers often giving their expert opinion, while the other guest stars included celebrities such as David Copperfield, Greg Biffle, and Billy Joel. The cast of the show was changed completely in 2015, and instead of Rick's restorations being the main focus of the series, Season 7 centered on five different restoration shops located across the US. This move by History Channel producers was highly controversial and left many of the series' fans wondering what had happened to the old cast. Before American Restoration hit the TV screens, History Channel made waves with their popular reality series Pawn Stars, which started airing in 2009. The series had a unique premise, centering on a father and son who operate a pawn shop in Las Vegas, Nevada. One of the early stars of the show was certainly Rick Dale, who often appeared as a restoration expert. And noticing his popularity, History Channel gave him his own show, American Restoration. It was certainly a smart move. Rick Dale had already been in the restoration business for more than 30 years. In fact, not only was it his line of work, but he'd been repairing things for practically his whole life. Before opening his own restoration shop in the early 1980s, Rick ran a construction business, which wasn't very successful, and he struggled to make ends meet. Around that time, he stumbled across a Coke vending machine, which he repaired himself and sold on the flea market for a decent profit. This inspired Rick to continue restoring old machines and furniture quite successfully. So in 1993, he closed his construction business and opened a restoration workshop. However, business went slowly for a while. This changed in 2007 when he married his second wife, Kelly, who inspired him to continue doing the things he loved while she would take care of the business side of things, including marketing. As Rick's business grew, he was approached by Pawn Stars producers who wanted him to pawn a gas tank he had listed for sale. Rick wasn't really interested in said deal, but offered to become an on-screen expert in restoration. After a successful screening, he was brought onto the show and so became a TV star. When he was later offered his own show, Rick was initially reluctant to accept thinking that he wouldn't have enough material for even just one season. I only knew how to restore like five different pieces, and a show has 26 episodes. I figured I'd be done after about five, he said in an interview he gave for the Sioux City Journal. However, after the first season, Rick started to feel more confident in his skills, and the show went much further than a single season. Apart from the business, American Restoration also focused on the relationships between the Dale family members. Rick's eldest son, Tyler, is a prominent star of the show. He's been helping his parents in the shop since the age of two, although Rick often criticized him for being lazy and talked about being worried if Tyler would ever one day be able to run the business on his own, assuming that's what he wanted to do. Rick was also helped by his younger brother, Ron, who primarily worked as a picker, which means that he was the one seeking and acquiring items to be repaired or restored at the store. Ironically, Rick often stated that he felt his brother was one of the most difficult employees to manage due to his poor work ethic and being rather slow to finish work. Another prominent member of the cast was Kevin Lowry, aka Cowboy, who did metal polishing at Rick's shop. He was noticeably grumpy and was portrayed as having a super short temper. Apparently, this wasn't just a shtick for TV, as some fans have talked about their unpleasant experiences when meeting him in real life. Rick's stepson, Brett Lee, seemed to be much more laid back and often provided comic relief. As an employee, he was usually delegated to do the most tedious tasks because of his perceived ineptitude, but later proved to be an excellent picker. During its run, American Restorations became almost as successful and popular as its parent series, Pawn Stars, with the cast generally beloved by the audience. Therefore, when the show's producers chose to drop the staff of Rick's restoration from the series, it came as a huge shock to fans. It was difficult to imagine that a seemingly wholesome family business could have a behind-the-scenes beef with their network, but that's reportedly what happened. Apparently, Rick Dale and the History Channel team had several disagreements about the creative direction that the show would take, which eventually resulted in Rick and his family being cut from the show entirely. In addition, some reports stated that Rick had become quite difficult to work with, and with ratings dropping somewhat, the network didn't see any other solution to the problem. Neither Rick nor History Channel have ever provided a full explanation for what happened. But whatever it may be, Rick was certainly not happy about his firing, 
not long after leaving the show, he posted a YouTube video in which he cried and thanked his fans for watching the show. In the same video, he also asked them to visit the official American Restoration website and voice their displeasure about the cast change. There was even a petition on the change.org website, launched by an annoyed fan who wanted to see the old cast back, but it failed to reach its goal and was completely ignored by History Channel. The showrunners moved on, and season 7 of American Restoration featured a whole new cast of five other family-owned restoration businesses, which included the owners and staff of Bodie Stroud Industries, Wheels Through Time, Monkey Business, Steve's Restorations, and Bob's Garage. This proved to be an unpopular move, however, and the series was officially cancelled after the season concluded. However, it appears that History Channel producers have since warmed to Rick Dale again, as he appeared in an episode of Pawn Stars in 2020, after a seven-year-long break but it's still rather unlikely that American Restoration could be rebooted. Even though American Restoration came to an end six years ago, it's seeing regular reruns and is available on streaming platforms, so Rick and his family are still reaping the benefits of the show's success. Although the original Rick's Restoration shop has been shut down, the family is now operating another store in Las Vegas, Nevada, which is open for visitors and tours. Members of the original cast haven't starred in any new shows since American Restoration concluded in 2016, which means their fans don't really know what they're up to nowadays. Rick is still active on social media, showing off his new projects, and has a YouTube account called The Idea Factory Studio, onto which he uploads videos of himself restoring vintage items, in a similar manner to his old show. Rick has also opened a custom laser cut and embroidery shop in Las Vegas, which sells various merchandise including Christmas ornaments, home decor, t-shirts, and more. Furthermore, he's published a book about restoration entitled Classic Soda Machines. Rick's wife Kelly still helps him run his business, but has found success on her own as well as a real estate agent. Their son, Tyler, is still in the restoration business, mainly working on restoring vintage trucks as revealed by his Instagram account, while his brother Bretley has set up his own business called Clean Works Blasting, which offers cleaning and paint stripping services. Although the alleged fight between Rick Dale and the American Restoration showrunners which resulted in his firing remains the show's biggest scandal, there were quite a few other issues happening behind the scenes. Rick's restorations had a solid reputation before the series started airing, however, their image became tainted as the show progressed. Apparently, doing quality work has proven to be difficult while simultaneously filming a reality TV show and some customers took to social media to complain about shoddy reparation work done by the Rick's restoration staff. Fans have pointed out that, for example, in an episode involving a McCullough go-kart, one can clearly notice that the tires hadn't been properly mounted, which resulted in wobbly movement of the cart, while others noticed chip paint in some other projects. It's also been noticed by customers that Rick Dale has been overcharging for his work since the shop was featured on TV. According to sources, Angel Delgadillo, who appeared on the show and agreed to let the filming take place in his memorabilia shop, was particularly enraged when he paid more than $4,000 for his old jukebox to be restored, only to receive it back two months later in non-working condition. On the other hand, Rick has noted that once his shop became more well-known, customers have started bringing in things in increasingly worse shapes. I think all the good stuff is done. The stuff people bring in now is testing me, he said in an interview with the website The Spruce. After 30 years in the business, I learn something new every day, he added. He has also talked about how keeping a normal, standard delivery schedule to clients has become very difficult. The production crew would want us to stop fabricating because they're recording one of us talking, and they didn't want the background noise, Rick explained. In addition, as the show became more and more popular, clients and even fans would show up at Rick and Kelly's house unannounced. Fans of the show have also been complaining about the public tour offered of Rick's Restoration's new shop in Las Vegas, which has prompted negative reviews on websites such as Yelp and TripAdvisor.com. According to visitors, there are two versions of the tour, one that costs $5 and lasts only 10 minutes, and grants little more than access to the gift shop. The other tour costs $50, but doesn't offer a lot more. Fans who pay for it may enter the shop, take photos, and see some items being restored, but the tour isn't guided, and if you want to take a picture with anyone from the cast, you must pay an additional $25. Just like any other reality TV show, American Restoration often has to rely on the power of scripting and editing to make certain moments stand out. While the work shown in the series is legitimate, plot lines are often created in advance, and scenes which took hours to film may be reduced to mere minutes, understandable when satisfying episode time constraints. One first an example of this came from Howie Cohen, a high school teacher who repairs neon signs as a hobby. He was approached to appear in an episode for the seventh season, and according to him, his scene was filmed twice, once in July and then again in November. This sounds even stranger, considering the fact that he first filmed a reveal of the finished project, and then five months later was asked to come back to talk about the project, as if it hadn't even been started. Strange happenings in restoration overall, and Rick's restorations, American restoration in particular. Thank you for spending some time with us. 
make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.